Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Camilla Vargas. I hope you guys find yourself safe and well. Welcome to my foodie speech. So the dish I chose today is called la bandeja paisa, which originates from Colombia and the Antioquia region. The first time I remember trying this plate was obviously in Colombia, and I was absolutely taken back from it. This plate is one of the most traditional Colombian dishes that you can get all around Antioquia. And you will definitely know why after you try it. The word bandeja in Spanish means platter, so you know you're in for a lot of food. This high protein packed meal is great to have any time of the day. That includes breakfast, lunch, dinner, maybe even a snack as well. So let's get into what La, La Bandeja Paisa is all about. This Colombian cuisine has humble beginnings. It was originally considered peasant food because farmers would eat this high protein packed meal for breakfast before going to work in the fields. Due to all the ingredients and all the meat, it kept them going throughout the entire day. Nowadays, this food isn't considered peasant food. With all the components of la bandeja paisa, it is now considered one of the most expensive dishes on any menus with Colombian cuisines. Due to the large servings, it's pretty easy to tell that it would be one of the most expensive dishes. This dish can be found in the roots of the Antioquia region, which include Medellin, Guatapé, Jericó, Sabaneta, Itagüí, and many more. And due to the now to this day, there have not been any conflicting accounts found with La Andea Paisa. Now comes the preparation of the dish. The preparation begins the night before by soaking a specific type of kidney beans in water and leaving them rest overnight. Specific kidney beans. If you've never heard of them. So the next day when you come, you rinse the beans out thoroughly and you put them in the pressure cooker at low temperature for about one hour. As the beans are cooking, you will as well need to add two carrots, one red onion, and a small portion of salt to the pressure cooker to give it some flavor. As the beans are being cooked, on the side you will as well saute uh, chopped scallions and some tomatoes to, get, to make something called el hogao. El hogao is very important in making la bandeja paisa because it truly brings the frijoles and brings the whole plate alive. So after, for, uh, after sauteing the scallions and tomatoes for about one to two minutes, you add that to a blender. And before blending that, you have to make sure that you go back into the pressure cooker, take out the two carrots, the onion, and add that into the blender as well. Uh, now you may begin to blend it for about one to two minutes, which is now the finished ogao. After it is blended, you then pour it back into the pressure cooker and let that sit for another 10 minutes at low temperature and your beans are finally ready. Next is all of the meats. This La Andea Paisa includes chorizo, pork belly, ground beef, plantains, egg, avocado, and una arepa. So all the meats will be, cooked, will be fried separately to perfection. Will be fried to perfection. La bandeja paisa comes with an arepa on the side, which is a very, very important ingredient on any Colombian cuisine. Every Colombian must have an arepa with their meal. The avocado will be sliced in half and will be placed to the side of the rice. And the arepa, arepa is also made from yellow or white corn. And it is grilled for a couple of minutes till it turns crispy or a little burnt. And lastly, the egg. The egg will be fried and it will be sunny side up. And that will be all. Finally, the most important, one of the also the most important parts is the rice. The white rice. There's no specific way to cook your white rice. So whichever way you are cooking it, that's the right way. Now, after the white rice is fully cooked, all of your ingredients are ready to be put on the plate. So you can start by adding the white rice to the side, followed by the kidney beans cooked to perfection next to them. And then you will strategically now build your plate and add the pork belly, the chorizo, um, the plantains, the ground beef, and finally adding the two arepa, avocado, and the egg. And if all done and well, it should look a little something like this. Y ahora vamos a emplatar, ponemos un poco de arroz, un poco de los frijoles, 
Si ustedes de pronto no les gustan los frijoles en el mismo plato, pueden poner los frijoles en una tacita y el resto de ingredientes en el mismo plato. Pero, como ustedes saben, la bandeja paisa pues tiene demasiados ingredientes y poner una taza llena de frijoles ya es demasiado. Así que ponemos una de cada cosa. Ponemos el huevito, las arepas, que son arepas de las que venden en la tienda, solo que están calientitas. Ponemos una tajadita de aguacate y con esto finalizamos nuestra deliciosa bandeja país. According to Anthony Bourdain, American celebrity chef, author, journalist and travel documentarian, the most typical dish in Medellín is the heart attack on a plate, which is la bandeja paisa. With a huge serving of beans, rice, meat, chorizo, plantain, egg, arepa, and an avocado. Bourdain regularly professed his love for Colombia, even proclaiming that he could not believe that this country exists and why people would not want to live here. I completely agree. La Andea Paisa is a very popular dish in Colombia, especially around the Antioquia region. People from Antioquia are called paisas, hence the name La Andea Paisa. It is made with lots of Colombian ingredients, and La Andea Paisa is such a big part of Colombia that it was almost nominated as the national Colombian dish. The origin of La, of La Andea Paisa was influenced by several different cultures that inhabited Colombia through the, throughout the centuries, including the indigenous people of Colombia, as well as Africans and colonial Spaniards. Thank you for listening to my foodie speech. I hope you guys learn something about la andeja paisa and the origins of where it came from have a nice day thank you